No Puedes Jugar Boxeo es presentado por Seyer en los puños de los campeones desde 1930. I'm not in my head, neither are, are, are you, but I know for a fact, um, if you've been in boxing long enough, um, I've seen the greats with shenanigans. Uh, I, I, I've seen fighters literally eat a plate of food knowing they ain't gonna make the weight the next day, but just to get in the guy's head. Why would I constantly post something that seems to be the opposite of what I gotta represent and be prepared for, for the world to see, let alone my opponent. For the opponent, or for Devin Haney to think about it, is saying that possibly could be an incident. This gonna be easy. Okay, then that become a story. And he become a victim. So I don't say play into none of that stuff is part of the game. I think I have some credibility in the shenanigans of the history of boxing. You think I meant, you think I wanted to throw the flag down in Puerto Rico? <laughs> but I took a calculated chance and it worked. Well, I threw it again. 59 years old, can't get run that fast, no. You were the first. You were the first undisputed champion for uh, full belt era. But when Devin became no, I was the first full. I was the first full belt era. Correct. Okay. So, Listen, but when so Devin, we got it. We got it. No, it, it, uh, I started the first full belt era. Why you think Oscar De La Hoya, my partner, came up? to my weight division to fight me for the WBO only belt that I didn't have after the tournament to make history of being the only fighter that went a full belt era at that time, correct? I started a lot of stuff. But the haters would never, as I tell my guy, Elliot Setback, they would never mention that. I didn't even mention it. But a, but a, but a person that understands, not just boxing, but understand history. And that's why I'm talking about it. So when they say the full belt era, you're looking at somebody that started it. Just like Rosa Park started, you can sit in the front, not in the back no more, black folks. More brown and black folks. <laughs> Somebody has to start it, right? That's the philosophy of your story. Somebody has to be daring. Somebody has to have guts, and everybody don't have that. You're not a bad person. You just ain't a risk taker. You have to sit back and watch to see if you get killed, and then, oh, I was with you. We know that game, but that's not saying you're a bad person. That you're not a challenging person. When Devin became undisputed, you said you can have all the belts, but that don't mean they will fit your pants. What do you mean by that? <laughs> you can have all the belts, that don't mean they'll fit your pants, means that you still don't have the star power. You still don't have the draw of a sellout arena of 20 plus thousand. We live in an era that if it's less butts in the seats and you got 10 belts, then you a beltless champion with belts, but they won't fit your pants. When you have both, you become something different and extraordinary than anybody else in the boxing at that time, at that era, in any way class. It's about economics. And when you can put 20 plus thousand or more in an arena, that's the star in today's world. Pope Bernardi got three or four belts. 
And do you think they said I wasn't a star when I beat Tito and I had all the belts. What did that tell you? Bernard, you mentioned something yesterday during the press I didn't conference. get mad. I, I wanted to keep paying me the checks, though. Uh, you mentioned something in the press conference. It's, uh, in order to be a, a bona fide boxing star, you've got to fight in New York City. Whoever wins, will they become a bona fide boxing star what, regardless of belt? Yes. Why is that? One is a star already. Yes. Because of the numbers. And again, this is something unusual when you get questions like that. Great question, first of all. The answer that I can answer it, others can answer it the way they want to answer it. What do a star mean now and today in boxing? What numbers you bring in? What you accomplish in boxing also carries some weight. The belts come last. The belts are the show up. That's the rewards you get of being a champion. It's a trophy, a representation of that body and sanctioning body. That matter of fact is 3% of gross first. But they're not giving it to you. You had to get 3% of gross first when you defend your title. You didn't know that, you're a reporter? No, I'm just saying. I, I, I just, no, I you look at you didn't know that, did you? No, no, I didn't know that. But I'm, I'm talking about like. But I why you look at high. me like you were surprised? Like, <laughs> no, I didn't really? know it was that high. I didn't know it was that high. So you didn't know? I knew it, but I, I knew they got the set, but I know it was that high. Uh, which, which percentage you thought? I just think it was that high. If you was here getting interrogated, you were getting twenty to forty years. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you gotta have lawyer money. Good lawyer money. Can you give us an update on the possible Canelo and Jeff Fighter? Brian Garcia and Devin Haney is the fight that we need to continue to understand the greatness of this fight and not cheapen it or downplay it by talking about anything else that come after that. Because I think the respect has to be this way. And I used to be angry when I had fights coming up, especially my big fights, where we're talking about stuff months down the road where we looking at a significant fight, not just a fight, now. I don't want to talk about anybody else. I'm not going to even mention their name. Who I do want to talk about is Dana Haney and Ryan Garcia, which this fight was made, then not made, rumors, and then we are here. I don't want to talk about Bill Haney, I want to talk about what's up with me, him, I don't stage. That's a distraction. The distraction will not take place with me. Because I'll be I'll be just as bad as the people that I'm saying. Let's get it. Young men, not kids. Yes, I can hear you. The respect that they took this fight in this time, in this era. And dare to be great by Jordan. It ain't about me, it ain't about Oscar, it ain't about nobody else. They need to get the respect, and I'm gonna stand on the podium within five minutes or less. Because it's clear that we must do that. Whether y'all follow the lead that I'm suggesting y'all do, that's y'all prerogative. But I'm telling you what I'm doing. I ain't talking about any other distractions, but that's all it is. Uh, Ryan looked a little vulnerable in his last fight at times against Oscar Dar Duarte. I'm curious to know what was your assessment of his performance and what he needs to improve moving forward. I've seen some rust in Ryan last fight, but we all expected that. But I also expect him to win, and he did. But he cannot do the things that he did his last fight with Devin Haney. And I believe that that tune-up, warm-up, was perfect to step into this type of fight that he needs to be motivated. Any other fight, like the last one, or, or less talented, it would be a disaster because I don't think he would be really super focused. If we, if we look at it, as you say, in so many cases, some would say, not you, that he's not focused now. What do you think will happen is he's got to fight somebody that you know he can beat? How much weight do you put on?